Looking live now over Capitol Hill, Democrats are close to passing a new bill to help tame inflation. The Inflation Reduction Act would allow Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices. It also sets the corporate tax at 15 percent and invest in clean energy. It only needs 50 votes to pass the Senate, but that means every Democrat needs to be on board. This comes as many fear the U.S. is sliding into a recession. With inflation hovering around 9 percent, business owners and customers are rethinking how they spend their money. Angela Vargas found out how the rising costs are impacting day-to-day -day life for people in Hampton Roads. Inflation is making some people change how they spend money. You know, I'm just very strict about everything. You know, I'm checking labels. You know, once upon a time, you just bought what you wanted to and kind of moved on. But, you know, nowadays it's very much like compare prices. And Dan Moran says he's working two jobs and is trying to stay afloat. I mean, I remember a time where $100 would fill a grocery cart and now you can carry it out in three bags. One of Moran's jobs is at the Stockpot restaurant in Virginia Beach. The restaurant's owner, Patrick Edwards, says he's noticing supplies are costing more. Food costs for the restaurant have gone up like exponentially. Edwards says he's trying not to charge extra fees to his customers, but he made a recent change to his menu. As I was saying, paper goods have skyrocketed, so we add a 50 cent to go fee, which doesn't even cost, I mean, doesn't even cover the cost of it, but it does uh, help a little bit. Regent University economics professor Brian Boggess says inflation puts a new twist on saving money. Waiting to buy something may not be the best way to go. So you'll actually have more money at the end of a year, but it will buy less stuff. Boggess says right now, the best way to get the most out of your money is with a credit card and defer the payment. If you're going to go out, buy credit and take as long as possible to pay for it, assuming you have a low interest credit card. Bogus also says it's always best to talk to a financial advisor before making any decisions. Moran says he plans to meet with his financial planner next week. In Norfolk, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now.